Rafferty and I formed a company a couple of years ago and made the Phantom Stockman, which was released last year, and now we've done King of the Coral Sea. Uh, yes, yes it is, and I must say I enjoyed it immensely. Um, an American ex-GI who settles in the islands. I'm, uh, I'm Chips Rafferty's number one boy in a pearl shell company. Uh-huh. Oh, well, not really. As a matter of fact, I've... Uh, I've sort of rather specialised in American accents on radio. Rod plays, plays this type of role excellently. The Chips and I wrote the script ourselves, and when we knew Rod would be available, we wrote the part specially to suit him. Well, both. Uh, I think film acting gives me more than radio work because you, you have a chance to concentrate on one role. I felt completely relaxed for the whole five and a half weeks I was on the job. Relaxed, he says. Well, I don't think Rod uh, meant it quite the way it sounded. But to answer the question, no, I wasn't relaxed, no more than Rod was. I enjoyed the work, but brother, there's plenty of it. Yes, um, I think the one thing audiences don't realise is that scenes in a movie are not filmed in their correct sequence as they see them on the screen. The most important and dramatic scenes are often shot first. Yes, that's right, and if you can't get you want out of what you want out of them, it's not much use shooting the rest. Then again, all scenes requiring one particular location or setting a film before you break up that setting and shift on to the new location. Yes, well, to be quite frank, the director's the only one who's supposed to know what's going on and how the story's developing, but the others soon get the hang of it. You followed it pretty well, didn't you, Ron? Oh, yes, yeah, surely, but um, in any case, I just didn't worry about it. I figured you were the boss and it was your pigeon. I just went where you said and did as I was told. <laughs> well, I think the people who are listening might uh, be interested to know that we didn't use any stuntmen or doubles in King of the Coral Sea. When they see Chips Rafferty or Charles Tingle down in the seabed, it's really Chips or Bud that they're looking at. Oh, don't hide your own lightly. Tell them you were down there too, directing. Well, I had to go down, along with Noel Monkman, our underwater cameraman and the other technicians. Oh, and speaking of Noel Monkman, Australia can be very proud of him because he's recognised as one of the finest, if not the finest, submarine cinematographer in the world. Um... <laughs> go on, well, Roger, yes. you might as well admit it. <laughs> a man can't have any secrets. Well, yes, the first time I went down, I turned the wrong valve and got water instead of air. Yes, I know, it's all right, but um, I nearly made two. Another time I was out crayfishing between scenes and I, I was just about to sink to the bottom when a dark shape flashed down and pushed me to the surface by my feet. It was one of the native boys who pointed down to a giant stingray that I nearly landed on. Chips and I are partners in Southern International Films and we write the scripts and do the mechanical breakdowns together. Yeah, mechanical breakdown. Now, that's something you really should see. It's, it's like a pack-a-poo ticket, six feet long and three feet deep. It shows every scene, every actor, every technician, every piece of equipment, all listed exactly as when required. Now, it's Chip's job to see that it's there. He produces and stars while I direct. It's our definite policy to take advantage of the many wonderful natural backgrounds we've got in Australia and at the same time to show modern Australia to the people of other countries. Well, there's about six months' work to plan and prepare the production, uh, five and a half weeks shooting at Thursday Island for the main story, and about two months at Green Island on the Barrier Reef filming the underwater shots. Well, to be exact, an hour and 29 minutes. And well, that's picture business for you. Lloyd Burrell and I have a fight in the film. We were two months planning it, two weeks rehearsing it, two days filming it, and it lasts about two minutes on the screen. Yes, I'm glad to, and there's no embarrassment because Rod knows just how Chips and I feel about his work, and his performance on the screen speaks for itself. We think he's the best potential star material in Australia today. Well, if I weren't sitting down, I'd bow to you for that. Well, thanks very much, and goodbye to you and to all our listeners. <laughs> Thank you very much. So long, folks. <laughs>